Hartford. To the unsuspecting eye, it wouldn't appear to be any more than a quaint, ordinary town. But beneath the skin of this area lies a dark and horrifying secret. <laughs> the county of Hertfordshire is allegedly one of the most haunted in Britain, and the county town and its surrounding areas are amongst the spookiest, with tales of unwelcome spirits checking into hotels and dwelling in churches. This series is going to take a closer look at some of these stories and uncover the dark side of Hartford. St. Mary's Church is situated down Cold Christmas Lane in the village of Thunderidge, on the outskirts of Hartford's neighbouring town where, derelict and littered with graffiti, all that remains of Little St. Mary's Church is the tower and a small graveyard, in which is said to be the graves of many children who died one cold Christmas. Over the years, the church has earned itself a notorious reputation for being haunted, with rumours that it was built on a north-to-south alignment as opposed to east-to-west, which, upon visiting, we found out was true, and is thought to be the sign of the devil. <coughs> Whispers of witchcraft and devil practice, strange noises and activity, have inevitably made Cold Christmas a hotspot for those curious enough to investigate. But a lot of it is um, just due to perception. A lot of people, they might see things, they might hear things, and they put them down to paranormal activity, when it could just be, you know, a shadow, a noise. A creaking floorboard to you might be someone creeping around, the, you know, a, a poltergeist creeping around your bedroom to someone else. I do and I don't. I like to find scientific evidence to collaborate. I find. Yeah, yeah, I do, but it's like superstitious. Yes, yes, yeah, we, yeah, not a nice place to go. Really? It's just like a bit like it's like a weird atmosphere sort of thing. It's just like it's spooky. It's really spooky. It's like it's sort of like you're actually in a film. Yeah, a bit, a bit weird. And um, there haven't been any. Um, scientific papers published to verify the fact that there's paranormal activity. Throughout the years there's been lots and lots of, um, of documented um, reports around that area, um, you know, dating back to the medieval time. There was a lady in 1978 who was walking through the, um, the churchyard there and she allegedly saw a whole army walking towards her, came through through the door of the, of the um, the church, walk towards her and walk straight through her, which, you know, does um, send a shiver down your spine. So what exactly is so compelling about this unassuming destination that it still draws in people even now it's in ruins and abandoned? Is it nothing more than morbid fascination? Or is there something more sinister still at work? 